Hey guys, it's Woodup here, and welcome back to NASCAR 5 2021 mod championship mode for his 5 of 10. We're going to Charlotte today. We're going to be about halfway through the chase, and a little worried. This is one of the few left in the season that I'm uh, not confident in just how we'll do. So I'll show you the standings here real quick. We have a 20-point lead over Harvick, which is good, but we do have that extra stage in this too, so that's, that's another potential 10 points we can lose if Harvick just maxes out all his points but uh brad is still kind of there hamlin's still kind of there everybody else is pretty far off but nobody's officially one race behind except for austin dillon on back so top five still have a shot and all that good stuff so um all that said we'll change our paint scheme to the uh whatever this is i, I uh york york till and then we'll just go from there so uh settings same as usual. I don't know why every time I go to this, it changes the DNFs, so we'll enable that. Everything else should be kept on. Here it is. Okay, well, all that done, we'll just jump straight into the race. I always gotta give props to whoever modded uh, this game, because they always have the fire suit. The only thing that's missing is, like, the, the champion thing under the Cup Series thing, but otherwise, the fire suit's pretty, pretty good. I like that. So our slider is at a 4. And we're starting very nice around the inside line, which is good. Harvick is not at the front. That's also very good. Suarez is just fast, and Harvick went to the back for body modification. Good for us. So, that's perfect. So, we're going to have, obviously, four stages, three of them stage points. So, uh, we don't really got to worry about pitting at any point. Each stage should be about 12 or 10 laps. This one's tw uh, 12 laps. The second one should... I think the rest of them are going to be 10 laps, I think. But like usual, we'll try our best to kind of set ourselves up uh, for position for stage 2 to get some points. But obviously with Harvick being back here, I mean, we're going to be in pretty good a uh, pretty good shot of not losing too much points here. But yeah, he kind of pushed me through the corner a little bit, and I just screwed up the angle, but thankfully he didn't get by me. Just like that, five spots gained, Brad's still leading, and Suarez obviously just always on fire, so I'm kind of curious to see where he's uh, going to end up at, at at the end of the race. Oh, sorry, Davidson. Surprisingly, no no nose damage with that, so that's good. We're easily carving through this uh, back half of the field. Once we get in the top 20, it's going to start to get a lot harder to move up through the field. We're doing what we need to right now, just kind of you know, getting through them all. Harvest getting stuck in traffic. I don't know how fast he's going to be. Usually, if uh, there's like uh, like a fast car like Harvick or Hamlin that starts in the back, usually they, the game makes up for that by making them really quick in the race. So I think that's going to happen here. So I'm kind of curious to see how that plays out for him. But yeah, we're just... I don't even know what to say right now. I mean, we're just kind of making easy work of these uh, slower cars. <laughs> Not, not, nothing too crazy about it. Get the draft from Christopher Bell. Get to the inside. Now the field's still decently uh, packed together. I think Newman's the last one in this little group, and then there's I don't know where where that position leads. But once we get by Newman, then we do have a little bit of a clear sailing for a bit. Harvick's still stuck back there, so that's good for us. And I don't remember who's third. I think it's Brad. So I think we're going to be kind of in trouble with Brad running this well. I think again it's hard to remember too too much too much numbers and too many people my brain just can't comprehend it so we'll just try our best to try to get like a top 15 here and then try to get some stage points for the rest of them but yeah um just absolutely cut, cut through the field suarez who's apparently fast this weekend 16th that's kind of sad <laughs> but yeah um, after him then we gotta clear sailing for a while and hello ty dylan thank you for the push i appreciate it all right we're doing things got another uh not another but a good run on al marola get the inside of him clear him for 15th with no problem yeah it's it's looking good for us i don't think we have the car to win we're not really gaining on brad so we're just gonna have to really hope to just have brad have some catastrophic issues i guess so i don't know Another just juicy run on the back straightaway. Gets the inside of Eric Jones and the Bendetto. I hit the Bendetto, so I'm sure he's going to go on a spree about how 
how woe is me. Can, can I go down to Benedetto, right? He, he I, I don't know what, he, he always tries to play the woe is me card. And then, like, he was, he, he acted surprised when Wood Brothers wasn't going to sign on for him next year. Like, they, like, it was very clear that that was only a one-year extension. But he's acting like as if it was a complete blindsided shock. Like, you, you stupid. And then you go in shit talk the team you're still with. <laughs> I don't like the, I don't like the Bendetto anymore. I don't like him. Last lap in the stage, and we've actually caught up to this group of cars here. Really wasn't expecting that, but Tidell's been kind of pushing me through th through them, so that's nice. I don't really know where to go with this run. Oh, oh look at that! Ty Dillon is being a bro today. Put, look, look at that, helping me pass his own bro. That's that's some that's kind of fucked up. You didn't even help his bro out. But through three and four, we are gonna actually get some stage points. Two to be exact. And Brad didn't win it, so we actually don't lose as much as I was fearing. So, yay! <laughs> that was that was that was good. Harvick's up to 17th, so that's interesting. I'm gonna up the tape a little bit. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit get more speed and we're still ninth so no nothing changed but now we have good track position so now we'll see if we can maybe hold on to a top five or something i guess we'll have to kind of wait and see this stage should be 10 laps i think yep 10 laps so all right well let's we'll see how this goes I'm, I'm looking forward to this maybe we're not gonna lose as much points as i was fearing I don't know. We'll just have to figure it out. But the field's going to be bunched up for a couple laps, so this is going to be a good chance to try to gain some spots and maybe see who can hold on to lead or who kind of chokes it like what Ryan Blaney did there. I actually hit the brakes a tiny bit there in the corner just to kind of blow it down because I obviously was entering at a very awful angle. That was a pretty good first lap, ninth to sixth. And now... We got uh, Chase Elliott and Ryan Blaney duking it out for the lead. Brad's Still falling there. back and all that good stuff. So yeah, I guess we'll just be chilling with this main pack of cars for a little bit. And we'll just kind of go from there. Hello, Truex. Nice run off turn four. Sometimes you can get a little loose off that course. You, you know, got to be a little careful. That was a better lap. Thank you, Tony. It was a better lap. Got one up top. Man, we're just oh, yeah, we're cracked in the top five like to maybe get by Hamlin and Brad and try to pull away, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But Truex! Man, Truex being a bro, he is helping me pass his own Gibbs teammate. That's that's pretty nice of him. I appreciate that. Yeah, this, this, this is going pretty well. About to get by Kyle Busch. Yeah, it, it was a great lap. Holy sh Oh my god. About a tenth off from my best lap ever, which I think was set with the custom setup so that's that's pretty damn good oh my god the gibbs gibbs are loving me today they're, they're loving me a bit too much oh there's my stage one bro ty dylan that that whole little kerfuffle kind of sucked there but the good thing is brad's not leading so we might actually gain a couple points on him in this stage so it doesn't seem like we're going to lose an awful lot of points at the end of the day. Which, you know, that is that is very good to, to have. Maybe Ty Dillon could win this race. That would be kind of wild. Things I'm learning tonight Careful, is Ty Dillon fast. I mean, he's just cutting through this field. No wonder why uh, when he was pushing me, I was gaining spots. I didn't think he had that kind of speed. I don't understand it. He is in a got bros car. But he, he really making it look like he, he doing good stuff. <laughs> so... I don't know. I think things are starting to sell out, so we might just... I don't know if we're going to get any more spots, but I'm going to try as hell to, to hold on to sixth. Nice route turn four. We'll get to the inside Ty Dillon with Still a there. pretty good amount of draft. Now we'll outside. try to set our sights at Kyle Busch. Kind of a shitty angle in the corner. We'll push Harder up a bit. Outside. But Brad should be able to push me here. Or not. Well, we're trying. We're trying to get to fifth. Hell of a battle, though. Still there. But yeah, it's... Harvick, again, nowhere to be found in the top 10, I think. Last I saw him was 17th at the end of Stage 1. I think he's just outside the top 10, I, th I think. So, I don't know. But hey, Brad pushed me, that's good. We might be able to get to 4th. And we do, again, a kind of a shitty angle in the corner. But we kind of kept, uh, kept the car a little bit to the bottom. 
Thank you, Brad, for the push. And oh, oh, contact. It's okay. It's okay. Don't don't go torquing on me. Have you seen his Instagram? He he has been a in a, in a horny mood lately. He, he's just twerking, shaking his ass like. Kyle, who are you? And we'll get fourth in stage two. Some good points. And Harvick is tense, so he does gain a point. He's getting up there. But yeah, we are kind of holding our own pretty well. And we're just going to take four tires and fuel again, and hopefully we don't lose any spots. Oh, we actually gained a spot. Now we're on the inside line. All right, I'll take it. Don't really know what we're going to have for, like, a, a car. <laughs> Might be able to hang with these guys for a little bit. This should be 10 laps again, and it is. And, yeah, I don't know. It looks like Ryan Blaney is just straight up to class to field today. So unless he, like, does something stupid in turn three to go up high, we might be able to get the lead here. I should give him a shot. That's not not what I wanted. But, not all too bad. Brad's actually going to try to get the lead, though, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Holy pokage. That was on me. That was on me. I, I done fucked it up. All right. Oh, oh, hi, Larson. Yeah, that's... That sucks. <laughs> that almost worked. And now I'm stuck on the high side, which I, I, do, I don't like. You know, that, that was this was the one stage I was thinking maybe I can maybe get, you know, do something. It didn't really work. Nice little runoff turn four, get the inside of Bowman. I should be able to clear him here and then kind of chill in six for a little bit. But we do got the, I guess, the two fastest cars in the race. Okay, Brad's just gonna go right by him like he's standing still. <laughs> Never mind, but yeah, it's yeah, Brad's fast. I think Kyle might push me. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, a bit too late, but he did eventually do it. Yeah, we're just kind of stuck. That is three wide behind me. Good lord. All right, that was <laughs> terrifying. And we're just having this this cute little side by side battle. That's adorable game. I, I like that. But I like to maybe chill in six and maybe run down fifth. Thank you, Chase, for the push. I appreciate it. But oh no, no, okay, we did get by him. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go into sweat mode and try to do something. Oh my God, Harvick is just gonna straight up pass me on the outside like I'm standing still. <laughs> oh my God, that's disgusting. All right, well, um, yeah, we don't really have the fastest car. Thankfully, we built up enough points throughout the race to, even if he does finish a couple spots ahead of me, we should be fine as long as he doesn't win. Yeah, that's that's not good for us. Mike Black in the stage. Trex is now taking a lead. Kind of an interesting battle going on up there at the front. Seems like you know, nobody's able to pull away. We're kind of closing in on the leader. But I think that's more or less just because Hamlet keeps pushing me. <laughs> but either way, we should be able to get some good stage points again and kind of Hold off Harvick in points unless he gets by Ty Dillon, which will be a little bit of a struggle. Or I could just choke turn three, or uh, or Hamlin could push me. All right, well, if he doesn't feel like winning a championship, then, you know, this is why, this is why Hamlin's a loser. Well, championship-wise, not, like, stat-wise, but that's why he a bum. Because he, he, instead of trying to get by me, he decided to help me and not take advantage of stage points. But, you know, it's, it's his loss. And can someone explain how taking four tires... On a 12 lap stint run to the end, that's almost an entire fuel run, is a bad thing. Can anyone explain that? No, because it's fucking stupid. This game's stupid. That's dumb. So I guess the rest of the field just took rights. Yeah, why, I don't know. I mean, this, it, this game's stupid sometimes. But the good thing is, we should have the, the slight tire advantage to maybe do something with that and run them down or maybe try to get a top five i don't know but that is our uh, our good advantage and we are gaining spots i want to try to gain as much as i can before the field really starts to spread out so yeah again no no pitting oh god i did i just see harvick like off the track it looked like it but he he, <laughs> he might win this damn race from starting last I'll never forget back, I think it was a NASCAR Heat 4, when Newman started last at Dover because he went to the back for something. And he charged up his way through the field and won. 
And I, I'll never forget that because this is kind of like what Harvick's doing right now. Just funny to know. Yeah, we are getting up through the field pretty nicely. Right side. And we should be able to get in the top 10 pretty easily. I really don't want Harvick to win because we might... Then we might still have having some trouble trying to uh, pull away on him in the points. Yeah, okay, well, Truex going up high. That's usually not a good thing for, for the AI because they don't really get a run up there on the high side very often. Yeah, we are actually... Oh, hello, Ed. <laughs> yeah, we're actually about to crack up in the top 10, which is good. Shout out to Ed, too. Man, what, what a soul. I... I I simp for him. Up, get up, get Is that up, the right word? To even, even Tony's saying get up. I, I will get up for Ed. 100% pause on that, but... Tony Wright. Gets the inside of Larson and Chase Elliott. It'll be a two for one in turn outside. one. Outside. And that was kind of a good... Now. That was actually a pretty good quarter. And, and Larson... Again, it, what is it with All teammates clear. not working with teammates? Like, Larson is going to try to push me past his own bro. I, I don't understand that. But it benefits me, so I guess that's the the most important lesson of the day. But yeah, just like that, we're up to, uh, up to seventh, and we should be able to get past Ty Dillon for sixth, and then maybe try to catch those cars up in front of me, but I don't really know. Just gotta find a way around Ty Dillon, which might be a problem, I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I, I feel it. I feel it. It's the, the sixth sense. Dale Earnhardt sees the air. I see it, too. Gets the inside of him. Try to make the pass, or unless, unless Larson wants to push me, that would be even better. And Harvick's going for a lead. That that's not good. And the gap eh, might have been about a tenth we gained there. I just don't think it's enough time to, to do anything with it. I like to maybe get a top five. That'll be kind of nice, so I don't get two six places in a row. But yeah, we're just kind of kind of stalled out. I, I can't really gain a whole lot. They're battling like crazy up there, which is good for us, but. Uh, Larson behind me isn't fast enough to keep pushing me, so we're just kind of at a stalemate. Two to go, and it's still nothing. Unless I can maybe hope for Trex to gain a little bit of time, or try to pass him, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Yeah, Harvick's going to kind of max out his points. He might gain 10 on me just in this last part of the race alone, which isn't good for us. But this is why it was so important to do well in the first you know, couple stages there, and God, imagine if he didn't uh, start last. <laughs> yeah, we would be in big trouble in terms of points. But either way, white flag, and looks like we're gonna get sixth place again. Trex is trying his damnedest, and I, I respect it to get try to get by Harvick, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. We kind of pulled away from Larson, who vanished. So like, oh, people are pitting. <laughs> All right, that's that's even more bizarre. <laughs> But through three and four, we'll bring home sixth and kind of another weird way to end the race. <laughs> but I'll take it. Way to dig all day for top ten. <sighs> yeah, we lost a lot of points to Harvick, though. God damn it. We'll take a look at the finishing results. Brad and uh, Truex had a battle. They they just they just didn't give up. Ty Dillon seventh. Austin Dillon eleventh. Bubba twelfth. Larson, I think, at there at the end pitted. There's a couple of people that pitted. I don't know why the hell they did. Yeah, Larson, Logano, Suarez, who was having a good weekend. <laughs> and Stenhouse was one of the people that wrecked at some point during the race. All right, on the points. Ooh, yeah, it's uh, 17 bad. We only lost three points. That could have been so much worse. So I'll take it. We only, it was only a net loss of three. Brad uh, actually kind of gained in a little bit. So, yeah. So right now it's, I don't know, I mean, Kyle Busch still kind of has a one race, he's almost one race behind, he's actually 60 points back, so he's right on that bubble, Trex is kind of alive too, but yeah, um, I don't know, It's it's. I guess it's going to be a barn burner. Ryan Blade led the most laps, and he got fifth, huh? And next race we got Martinsville, which, that's going to be probably pretty wild. So, I don't know, it's... I guess that'll be interesting, but yeah, that's the rest of the points. So, yeah, we kind of lost a lot in that one. Oh my god. But who's last in the standings so we can laugh at him? James Davidson. Tie with Joey Gase. Did I, did I, I saw someone really bizarre. Ryan Newman, 26th. 
<laughs> getting destroyed by Ty Dillon. But hey, BJ McLeod is actually running where he's supposed to and not destroying Jimmy Johnson. So that's kind of nice to see. Um, all right, well, I guess that's it. Um, I guess we'll, you know, we'll wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters at Down Rounds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and David, our Chef 15, Ask Number Site.org, Billy Carrier, Golf K100, Denny Hammond, Alta Fan, Emily Bebster, Mark Harmon, Mexican Lake 1986, and George Vargas for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for contributing and support the channel every single month. Like this, it does me a lot, and it truly goes so so far for for everything. It, it means a lot, and I'm always really thankful you guys do what you do because I'm I'm trying to do different things with the channel, and it, 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 it's tough. So it's, th thank you. I'll see you all next episode for Martinsville, and after that we got Atlanta, then I think Texas and Atlanta, now then Phoenix. Well, Texas wasn't in this back in 2004. <laughs> then we got Darlington and then Homestead. So I think Darlington and Homestead, I, I think I'll be okay. Phoenix is the big question mark. Uh, so I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see. But uh, for now, um, I'll do it. So, yeah, I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.